Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing and review. Uh, this is a pen from Chris at Butterknife Creations in Ontario in Canada. Now, Chris, when he makes these pens, he doesn't supply them in a box. He supplies them in this leather wallet or pen sleeve and you can see here it's got lots of ink stains on there which i really do like the look of and that you can reuse this time and time again whereas a lot of boxes typically do get thrown away so i'm really glad this and i'll show you here you can see the pen peeking out a little bit there so if i remove the pen and you will see this one so this is a um i believe this is actually called a purple chameleon uh, it is pink, uh, but you do see some purple, very almost like diamond dust. Uh, it's not diamond dust, though. It, it, this is an internal resin that Chris makes. I think it's it's some kind of really sort of like perlex or something that he uses here in a purpley color. So you can just see that the way that that shines there you get this pearlescent effect going on in this material uh, it really is a beautiful material um, so i think in terms of the pen let's take a look at this we have a cap finial there which is a frosted clear cap finial now you should be able to see the nib there through that cap so that i think is a nice touch just seeing that that nib just peeking out there. Uh, the end cap finial is uh, just rounded off, very similar to this one here. Uh, but you'll see here the pen itself, the cap, tapers in slightly here to the cap finial, and then it tapers out here slightly, and then tapers all the way in. You don't see a seamless join between the cap and the body, but you do see it pinched together. And then it starts to flare out to about here. And then it flares back in or tapers back in to what is the end cap there. Now, if I unscrew the cap, you'll see here it comes with a number six size Bok nib. This, I believe, is a broad nib with an ABS plastic feed. If I unscrew the body, you'll see it just comes with a standard international converter there uh, these are just push pull converters they're not threaded you just push them in uh, this is a really nice in-house material that, that chris has created and to be honest i'm not really into pink pens but this i i think with a combination of this white the pink and also this sort of bluey purplish sort of really shimmer um or pearl x uh, I, I think that that actually gives a nice combination to this pen. Now, in terms of the size of the pen here, you can see that this is quite a lengthy pen. It has a very long section. The uh, section here is concave to stop your fingers slipping down onto the nib. The threads here, there is a slight step up to the threads and then a slight step up to the body. Uh, you don't feel this. Like if I'm holding on the section, you, you don't get anywhere near the threads. The threads are quite smooth, although there is a bit of a step up there. If you wanted to have a thicker section, you could hold it up higher still if you are if you do actually hold your pens a lot higher. I personally hold them down near the nib itself, uh, but I find even though this section is a little bit more on the thinner side, I do actually find it comfortable. I do find the, the pen comfortable in my hand. Now, you cannot post the cap. It's not designed to do so. So you do need to bear that in mind if you're looking at the um, Butterknife Creations Bumpy Chameleons uh, because they they will not post. But I find that this is actually quite a nice uh, size pen in my hand. And it will show you that material a little bit more as well here so you can see that material. Uh, I can definitely see that this pen will actually... Um, people will be attracted to this color, especially with that sort of chatoyance going on there with that shimmer. It really uh, 
provides quite a bit of depth there. So uh, that is quite a quite a nice looking uh, combination of material there. So I think with that, let's do, we'll do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So we'll check the full length of the pen. We're looking at about 147, 148 millimeters. The length of the cap, we're looking at about 65 millimeters in length. The length of the body to the tip of the nib, we are looking at about 138 millimeters. So that is an oversized pen. I think we'll do a weight check as well. And this is uninked. And I'll have to balance it there because it will roll away. This is just over 25 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just, well, eight and a half grams exactly. Uh, and the weight of the body, we are looking at just under 17 grams. So that is a nice weight pen. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. Uh, honestly, anything that is around the 15 to 20 grams mark, I personally find is actually quite a nice weight pen. But this material is actually quite stunning. I, I do actually find myself just looking at this material, looking at that shimmer there, that chatoyance, and it, it is actually quite mesmerizing. It's it's the, the quality of the pen here is actually... Uh, made really well by Chris at Butterknife Creations. Uh, his polishing as well is very good. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a London Pen Company Christopher in Caramel Aranoid. We have a London Pen Company Christopher 15, and this is in Primary Manipulation 1. We have an Atelier Lusso Carina in Black Ice Illuminite. We have an Atelier Lusa Carina in Diamond Nebula. We have a Pelican M800 Grand Plus. We have a Butterknife Creations, and this is a Bumpy Chameleon. And uh, this is in an in-house uh, purple or pink resin. Uh, we have a Edison Pen Company Collier, and this is in the Antique Marble. We have a John Twist Volcano. We have an Atelier Lusa Andromeda in the King Cobra, and we have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the Dragon. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So we have a butter knife. And this is Creations. And it is the Bumpy and it's a chameleon and uh, this is a broad uh, it's a bock steel nib now the material here is actually a in-house material that chris has made himself and this is actually called purple chameleon Now, the ink in here today, I have uh, inked it up with uh, Pilot, Iroshizuku, and it is Sutsuji, which is a lovely hot pink. And I think that that pink goes very well with this pen. Uh, the ink also can sheen quite a bit as well. So uh, it doesn't sheen purple, but it does sheen gold, uh, on, certainly on Tomoe River. Let me um, show you the bottle here. That's how that ink can sheen. So it's a really lovely ink. Now, in terms of line variation, let's take a look here. This is a steel nib, but you're getting about a broad line here. Uh, if I push that a little bit harder, you can get a little bit wider line. If I do the figure of eights here, you'll see. And then if I do some more, I'm not getting any hard starts or skips to this nib whatsoever. Now, in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look at this. 
Bear in mind, this is a broad nib. This is quite a wet nib. It's not a fire hose nib, but it is quite wet. Uh, I do have to say I like Bok nibs, so for me that is quite nice. So, what do I like and what do I not like about the pen? Well, honestly, I like uh, the shape, I like the size of the pen, I like uh, the weight of the pen, uh, I like that it has a Bok nib on it. I am more partial to Bok nibs, uh, more medium and broad nibs from Bok over Yovo, so I do like uh, that uh, some pen, uh, custom pen makers uh, in the maker community are actually using Bok nibs or, or using a combination of Bok and Yovo. So a Bok nib is on this pen. Uh, I know Sean at London Pen Company also uses some Yo Yovo nibs, some Bok nibs as well. Uh, a lot of the pen community will use Yovo nibs because it's easier and cheaper to get hold of. But I do like that this has a Bok steel nib on it. Um, everything I like about the pen, really, the, the shape, the size, the weight, how the pen writes. There's no hard starts or skips, as you can see here. Uh, what do I dislike about the pen? The only... I'm not partial, normally partial to pink. Uh, I do have pink ink, and I'm just trying to think if I actually... I don't really have a pink pen. I have some orangey, browny rusty colored pens but i don't have a pink pen in my collection uh, pink isn't normally a color that i would go for but i know a lot of people do and i know a, a lot of female friends that i have in the pen world uh would kill for a pink pen so um if if you want to pick up this pen then pick it up quickly because this pen is available from derek at stonecott fine writing supplies Dot com in the UK. Uh, Derek uh, uh, is also on Instagram at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. Uh, if you you can also check Derek out at uh, the UK pen shows, hopefully in the near future. But Derek is has actually got some of these uh, butter knife creation pens available, and he is stocking them on his website. So if you do want this pen or another butter knife pen, then do go and check out Derek at. Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. So this is my review of the Butterknife Creations Bumpy Chameleon in a in-house purple chameleon colour. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.